Good morning, and thanks for tuning in. I'm Kelly Fernan. And I'm Josh Hauser. Today is Monday, October 24th, and this is RT Today, brought to you by... The DB Cannon Studio of Dance, Middletown's home for dancers. On this day in history in 1929 marked the first day of the great stock market crash, also known as Black Thursday. Happy birthday today to Sarah Treadwell, Lily Miller, Mia Bratcher, and Evans, Evelyn Storer. Let's go to Kelly Fernan with a wrap-up of today's headlines. Thanks, Josh. In news, Western countries accuse Russia of plotting a bomb threat as a pretext for escalation in Ukraine. Moscow evacuated civilians from a southern city in anticipation of a major battle. Ukraine President Vladimir Zelensky said, quote, If Russia calls and says that Ukraine is allegedly preparing something, it means one thing. Russia has already prepared all this, unquote. In entertainment, rapper Big Sean announced that he would be taking a break from music to focus on raising a child. In sports, the Philadelphia Phillies advanced to the World Series yesterday as, repre as representative from the National League, defeating the, pa the Padres four games to one. In the American League, the Houston Astros advanced to the World Series after sweeping the New York Yankees game one to the World Series will be on Friday. That's a wrap. Let's go to Josh Hauser with today's announcements. Thanks, Kelly. Reminder to juniors interested in a science internship next year. There will be an informational meeting on Tuesday, October 25th at 2.30 in the Media Center for any student interested in the NCI or USAMRIID science internship at Fort Detrick. This is a very prestigious internship, which begins June 2023 through May 2024. Please plan to attend the meeting for more information. If you are unable to attend, please see Ms. Gibson for more information. In sports, over the weekend, the varsity football team won against Catoctin with a score of 14 to 13. The cheerleaders did a great job cheering on on Friday. The marching Knights traveled to Linganore High School in competition and placed in second with a score of 84.24. On Saturday, the girls cross country team traveled to Boonesboro and placed second at CMC's. Erin McQuitty was the CMC champion, Phoebe Manilo placed seventh, and Corinne Sullivan placed 14th. The boys cross country team placed second, Quinn Sullivan placed 6th, and Danny Michaels placed 11th. Good job, Knights. Tonight, the volleyball team is facing Liberty at home. JV plays at 5.30, followed by Varsity at 7. The cheerleaders leaders travel to Governor Thomas Johnson High School to compete in the fall cheerleading state championship. Good luck, Knights. Now let's take a look at today's weather. Thanks, Josh. Today will be mildly warm despite clouds covering the sun, as it is currently 58 degrees outside. The temperature will reach as high as 68 degrees later this afternoon. That's it for weather. I'm Angela Ocampo. Back to you in the studio. Thanks for watching. You can find more content on mhhroundtable.com or you can download our app, Student News Source, for access to our articles, videos, and podcasts. I'm Kelly Fernan. And I'm Josh Hauser. We leave you with this final thought. My name is Alex Peters. Here's something to think about. Every day is a chance to be better.